I have lost many of my friends to CF. A lot of them I grew up with and the majority of them didn't make it to their 21st birthday. It's not easy, but being able to show through my story an example of just exactly what that looks like gives others hope to believe in themselves and to know that anything is possible. I get to introduce a second delegate speaker today. Emma Money. <laughs> Emma Money. My name's Emma and I have cystic fibrosis. I was diagnosed um, at birth. One of the most important things from speaking to people is that I leave a mark on them when I leave that room. So from the moment I enter, the energy that I bring in within the stories that I tell people, the way that I get my audience involved, leaves them with the feeling that they want to make a difference in themselves. They want to go out and do something better for themselves or do something better for somebody else. And I think as a speaker, it's so important that when you're talking to a crowd of people that you have a sense of energy that when you go into that room you can hear a pin drop. Whether it be about their everyday lifestyle or, or something in their community, um, one of the biggest things is knowing that after speaking to people that they will contact me and say thank you for today, I really needed to hear that or because you spoke today I'm now confident. One of the, the most heartwarming thing is to walk into a room and for people to look at you and know that you know, they're there for you and that you're going to make a difference. And by having people listen to your story and be able to share my experiences and the highs and lows. Every time I've spoken, I seem to be swamped with everybody coming up to me, talking to me, asking questions and, and wanting to know more about whether it's my story or wanting some advice on what they can do. As a result of winning the National Girlfriend Magazine competition, my motivational speaking career took off. I was fortunate to speak in front of people such as Jamie Oliver, former US President Bill Clinton and Sir Bob Gelder. I've spoken to crowds of over a thousand people but still been able to connect with each audience member and been able to really connect with them and have them resonate with myself.